Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. Thank you all so much for coming along to the Shelburne Hotel this evening for the 2013 Easy Food Home Cook Hero Awards. This evening is all about celebrating those unsung heroes of cookery, people who cook every day at home for themselves and their families, though if truth is known, they're cooking for their families first and then themselves. But this is their chance to show how talented they are on a national stage, and this competition highlights the best from every corner of the country. Now, I was lucky enough earlier this morning to meet some of those same home cook heroes. Just across the road at the Cooks Academy, the Home Cook Heroes competition has already started. Let's go and take a look. Wow, well, just look at this. There's just so much going on here. And we're just after 9.30 in the morning. We've got the supporters down here. Give us a wave, that's them. And they're focusing on the contestants who are just here and busy and already into that cook-off. Let's go and meet some. Oh, Fiona, adding the finishing touches, That's yes. That's right, yes. Yeah, it's been an early start. It was, indeed, what? even though I just came from Kildare, so I was lucky enough. Okay, were well, you up before the milkman? I was indeed, <laughs> but I'm used to that. <laughs> oh, Sinead, Sinead, that looks delicious. Thank you, mm. let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. Now, when you're looking for the ultimate home cook hero, you need expertise. And just around this corner, we'll find our judges. Quality stuff as well. We've got Catherine Fulvio, Kevin Dundon, and the publisher of Easy Food magazine, Gina Miltiado. How are you, fellas? Great, thanks, Martin. Starving. Mm. Yes. Absolutely starving. Well, it's a good job, because there's a lot of people out there with a lot of food, and you've got to taste it all. 10 categories, 30 contestants. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. It's all very exciting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how you all got on as the show goes on. So let's get down to business. Now, everyone loves a good burger, especially at about half three in the morning when you don't even know your way home. But there are three great ones coming up in the next category, and that is the best burger sponsored by Mr. Crum. And to present this award, would you please welcome Jason Coyle from Mr. Crum. Now, for this category, people had to send in their best homemade burger recipe, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how our finalists got on this morning. Let's take a look. Turkey and apple burger with potato wedges and a cranberry and tomato sauce. All the ingredients were in season, and most of them were locally sourced. I was worried I was going to leave something else, or I burn the food because that happened to me in practice yesterday and I nearly forgot the apple on Monday, so it was good that nothing went wrong. Um, my dish is called My Farmhouse Burger and I love it because it's nutritious and it's very delicious using farmhouse products like scallions and vegetables too. Uh, I was very under pressure, that 60 minutes did fly by, but I got it out in time anyway. Today I'm cooking the Indian Lambo Burger, which is um, a lightly spiced Indian burger. I'm cooking it because my family love it, even my small children, and I love Indian food and I like the flavours from that, so. I would like them to be maybe a little bit tidier, but like I said, hopefully they'll be okay. <laughs> it's not a nice uh, thing to do, like yeah, coming up to Christmas or just after Christmas, cooking Christmas and New Year turkey burger. Mm. But the seasoning in his mm, uh, burger was fantastic. Yeah. Or even a slice of vintage cheddar cheese on top would have been yeah. nice there. That is good. That is good. Mm. Oh, mm. the cumin and mm. the coriander is just gorgeous. When you want to go back for more, it says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. But who is going to take away the prize, Jason? The Mr. Crumb Burger of the Year is Root Healy. The next category is Butter Me Up, sponsored by Connacht Gold and presented by Lydia Rogers. Let's take a look at our three contestants on their buttery creation. The cake that I'll be baking today is a lemongrass and coconut cake. The reason for me baking this cake is partly because it's a very refreshing cake and it has unique flavours and it's one of my dad's favourite cakes. So that's why I'm making it today. But yeah, I'm very pleased the way it turned out. So hopefully it'll taste just as good as it looks. I'm making chunky smarty cookies 
I love this recipe and it's great for birthday parties. Um, the name of the dish is Butter Brownies and I love dusting people's names on special occasions. It was great, yeah, it was so much fun. I'm really happy. This is fun, I mean, this is really cool, isn't it? They yeah, really made an effort delicious. with this one. And extra smarties for you, Kevin. <laughs> I know, that's because I was a good boy, you know? I would actually warm them up, put the ice cream on top, yes. chop the sauce over top. <laughs> that would change the taste yeah, completely, yeah. it'd be gorgeous. There you go. Yeah. I'm going for the cake. <laughs> Sorry, but that is really, really tasty. And, and it would only get better than the And the lemongrass actually just brings such a freshness to it. It's yeah, beautiful. the balance. Mm. Ah, I see, I love this. I just yeah. think this, I just think this is fantastic. Cool. Yeah. 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 And I love this because this put is a, smile on your a perfect Christmas gift, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I have to say that earlier this morning I sampled all three and I couldn't pick a winner, so I don't know how the judges did. But they managed it, and Lydia, it's time to find out who's won. They did indeed. Three fantastic finalists. Thanks, Martin. The winner of the Connacht Gold Butter Me Up category is Varsha Bugavit. The next category is the Easy Cheesy, sponsored by Dublin or Irish Cheese and presented by Neve Lennon. Now, in this category, people had to submit their best cheese recipe. Well, I'm cooking these because um, when I'm having a fry up for breakfast, Mum's standing over the fryer for a long time and she can't do anything else while she's watching them. Oh, it went really good. Um, I did, I'm very happy with it and I wouldn't say it could have gone any better. The name of the dish is Sorrento uh, style macaroni cheese. It's from a region in Sorrento. Um, it's made with various types of cheeses so I've tweaked it with Dubliner cheese. I would have ate it there in um, June when I was on holidays and it's absolutely stunning. It was stressful enough, absolutely, but it all came together, I think, and um, tying the leek was just a little bit difficult, but we got there. Today I'm doing a tart basquoise, which is a really posh quiche, great for ladies' lunches, everything else. Uh, the Dubliner cheese really sets it off, and gives it a great kick at the end. Everyone's in for a shot to win, didn't really show up today. <laughs> it's a lovely depth of colour on the sauce, isn't there? It's mm. nice. It's a nice idea, and I love the presentation. Really creative. Mm. Mm. There's a nice taste. Yeah, <clears throat> really nice. It's probably one of the best parts of it. I think this looks fantastic. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just hope it tastes as good as it looks. Well, I'm let's just, have a look. Yeah. 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 yeah, let's have a look. You like I, it? I think if you got that served up in a restaurant, you'd be pretty you'd be impressed, thrilled. wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. So, Neve, let us know who is our winner. Three delicious dishes, but the winner of the Dubliner Cheese Easy Cheesy category is. Adam Meehan. The next category is Fabulous Bell, sponsored by Moy Park and presented by Aidan Fisher. Now, our judges were hunting for the tastiest chicken dish, and let's see how they got on. I'm cooking fabulous fowl, spring coriander chicken, and it's for my husband. My husband loves this chicken, so I just try. So I'm just keeping my finger crossed. Let's see what happens. Of course, I'm very happy with my dishes, and I wish the judges will love it. My dish is called lemon chicken. I'm cooking it because it brings all my family together, and my inspiration for it was my aunt Ida. There was a lot of pressure on today. I put in some real hard work and I hope the judges really like it. Uh, the name of the dish is Time for Chicken and I'm cooking it because I love chicken, I love thyme, I love to cook it <laughs> and to be honest it goes down a treat at home, they love it so I absolutely loved that last hour, oh my god, it was, I was under pressure but loved being under pressure, it was amazing, I would do it again straight away if you asked me to. Okay so here we have our... Talk about presentation. Yeah, Go, a lot of chicken it. here. The skill that went yeah. into that. Fond and potato. Mm. I mean, this is kind of you know, restaurant, restaurant food. Restaurant, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's nice and light. It's a nice surprise. But the vegetables are nice. It's a nice dish. It is yeah. a nice dish, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's a lovely homely dish, and that's what this is all about. 
wow, it's really flashing there now. Yeah, it? yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of like well a, a, a 30 second delay, and then you're, yeah. ooh, yeah. I get yeah. it now. Mm. I like it. But who's won the big prize? I am pleased to announce that the winner of the Fabulous Foul, sponsored by Moy Park Award, is Joanne Donahue. <laughs> Well, there really have been some fabulous dishes and some real home cook heroes so far. Have you picked your favourites? After the break, we have more categories to tantalise your taste buds and we'll announce the judge's choice of the easy food dish of the year. So we'll see you after the break. Welcome back to the Easy Food Magazine's Home Cook Hero Awards for 2013. It's been a great show so far, and there's plenty more to come. So straight to it, our next category is Larder Look, sponsored by Heinz, and to present the award, Marissa Cagney. Now in this category, people were asked to send in their best recipe using store cupboard staple. Let's go back to the Cook's Academy to see how they all got on. <laughs> It's tomato soup. It's a favourite of my family. It has travelled the world with my children and my grandchildren always ask for granny's soup. Everything went according to plan. It turned out fine. Even if the judges don't like it, I do. Today I'm cooking sweet sour chicken and the reason I'm cooking it is because it's quick and easy to make. I'm very happy everything went to plan and the judges are going to love it. I'm cooking a tortilla wrap and the reason I'm cooking it is a family favourite and it can be made with meat or a vegetarian option and everybody loves it in the house and it's always left with clean plates after the meal. I hope they enjoy it because I absolutely love the dish and my family really enjoy eating it so I hope they enjoy the flavours the same as us. And do you know what I think is fascinating is we all more or less have the same larders but we've got three very different, different recipes. dishes, yes, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So this is your, your lovely tortilla. <laughs> lovely peppers and everything, nice bit of colour in it. Mm. It does look mm. very tasty. It is tasty. Mm. Do you know what that needs? A bit of chilli. Yeah. A bit of salt and pepper. It needs yeah. something it needs to needs seasoning. Thicket, isn't mm. it? But it's almost there. Mm. It is so almost mm. there. Mm. Oh, isn't like that it. pleasant? I like it. Yeah. Mm, I like that now. Do you know what? It's lovely and mellow. You know, sometimes tomato soup can just be that tiny mm. bit sharp. Mm. Unless it's seasoned properly. Yeah. That is lovely and mellow. Brilliant. I'm hungry again. Fantastic. Those dishes did look brilliant, but Marissa, we can only have one winner, so who is it? We had lots of fun today and we had three delicious dishes, but I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Heinz, it has to be Heinz larger look category is Elizabeth McCluskey. The next category is the 10 euro family favourites sponsored by Lidl and presented by Jasmine O'Brien. So let's see what our finalists could conjure up for just 10 euro. Um, I'm making a beef and barley stew. It's something my great grandmother made for my grandmother and my grandmother always made for me. And it's changed through the years, but it's something that's always integral to our family. Generally, it's two hours in the oven, and after my prep and everything here, I had an hour and ten minutes, so it was a waiting game after I got all the prep done. But. Uh, today I'm making an Indian butternut squash curry. Um, I'm making this dish because it's really nutritious and it's easy to make. Um, you can get all the ingredients in little for under 10 euro. I really like it and I give it a 10 out of 10. My dish is chorizo pasta. I'm cooking it because the children really like to eat it. They love the hot chilies in it and the chorizo. I like it because I'm a busy working mum and the children are busy doing activities. So it's quick, it's versatile and it's easy to cook. It did, it went according to plan, I think. I'm happy. Everything turned out as it would at home, so I'm quite happy. Very good. I have to say, I enjoy that. It's a great family meal. Mm. Yeah. So exactly. It's, it's ticking all the boxes. It ticks that box, exactly. It's nice to see a vegetarian dish, particularly from such a young girl. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. And presentation wise, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. It's a classic, classic really, isn't it? Classic, yeah. Exactly. Doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It just looks mm. nice and pretty, mm. and mm. you know, mm -hmm. you put that down in front of anybody, they'd love it. You know yeah. I mean? And the use of spirals looks nice as well, doesn't yeah. it? Mm. For presentation. Yeah. Picks up the sauce beautifully. Proving to us that 10 euro can go a long way. But, Jasmine, 
who's our winner? Thanks, Martin. And um, the winner of the 10 Euro Family Favourites is Maria Hennessy. And a reminder to you again that all our winners are put forward for the top honour of becoming the Easy Food Dish of the Year. So stay tuned to find out who that will be. Next, it's time for Take 5, sponsored by Kenwood and presented by Sean Ferguson. Now, back at Cook's Academy, our judges were looking for the best recipe with only five ingredients. <laughs> It's butternut squash and red pepper soup and the reason I'm doing it, it's a family favourite. I'm used to making the soup at home so there was no difficulties. Um, my dish is the breakfast stuffed tomatoes. It's just something a little bit healthier to cook in the morning than a fry so I just, uh, I like the flavours but don't want to put on the weight so cook something a bit healthier. Um, I'm hoping they'll like it. It depends what type of, mood, uh, type of mood they're in. Uh, going on the time of day, it might be good for me. So, uh, yeah, uh, fingers crossed. My dish name is Farm Fresh Mussels, and I'm cooking this dish because people in Ireland are not eating this mussels like the way I'm cooking it in Holland. I'm really happy, stress-free, and how Dutch do it. <laughs> I feed you muscle since you love them so much. No, you're all right, thanks, Kevin. I'll just sure? fiddle around over here myself. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for it, right? I am eating a muscle. <laughs> they're nice, they're nice muscle mm. ashes. They are nice mm. muscle. I think this looks lovely. Yeah. That's some breakfast in bed. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It's nice, I mean. I love soups. Yeah. And on a day like today, mm. it's perfect for it. But, uh, does it have the wow factor? I'm not sure if it does. Yes, it really is interesting to see how creative the finalists are, even with just those five ingredients. But, Sean, who's our winner? I'm delighted to announce the winner of the Kenwood Take Five Award is Mike McLachlan. <laughs> The next category is Squisito, sponsored by Sakla and presented by Gina Miltiato. Now, you probably can tell by the cut of me that I like my Italian food. Let's see how our contestants got on today. And today I'm cooking pesto and tomato pasta with crispy crumb. I'm cooking it because it's very tasty, quick to prepare, and the crispy crumb adds a delicious crispy texture. I got it finished on time, which is almost always a bonus. So this is my pesto and tomato pasta with crispy crunch. I'm cooking saltimbocca alla romana, uh, or jump in the mouth, which is a traditional Italian dish from Rome. It's, I'm cooking it because it's easy to make, lovely, and it's really, really, really tasty. You will try it. If they don't like, I will eat. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm cooking a sausage and tomato tagatelli. Um, I'm cooking it because it's really tasty and goes really well with crispy bread and it's really handy everyday meal. I was finished a bit ahead of time, so that was good. Mm -hmm. but good tip. This looks like Italian food, though. Man. That, yeah. I mean, doesn't it? Like, I mean, look, you just want to jump into those dishes. It really does. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. family favourites. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm. It's simple. You can taste all the mm. flavours in there. Mm. Mm. It's. Um, I do like that. Mm. I do eat that all day. I'm very long. happy now having that for totally, lunch or yeah. for supper in the evening. Do you know what's great about it? Sausage, there's so much flavour in it, and just yeah. it adds, and particularly something like shrimp because there's so much mm. pork and burrito, mm. mm. cilantro, and all that. It just like brings exactly. everything alive. Yes, I'm even more hungry now than I was 10 minutes ago. It all looked delicious. So well done to our three finalists. Gina, who's won? Mm. The winner of the Squisito category in the Easy Food Home Cook Hero Award is Sinead O'Callaghan. <laughs> And so to the final and overall award of the evening. It's the Easy Food Dish of the Year, presented by the editor of Easy Food. Please welcome Dee Laffin. 
Now, this award is given to the dish that really stood out for the judges today as the most outstanding and creative dish, and each winner from the 10 categories automatically qualify for this award. This was a very difficult task. The quality has just been exceptional today, hasn't Unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. The level of skill that we've seen today. Every year, the standard, this is my third year judging, yeah. the standard is just getting better and better from the young ones to the older generation. There were really some standout dishes. I mean, one of the ones that stands out for me was the lamb, the Indian lamb <gasps> burger. Oh, I mean, divine. what an inspired use of spices and combinations of taste. You just wanted to eat it all, didn't you? But then if you look at that, you know, that pasta, the pasta was cooked. Perfection. Perfection. They've got that crumb on the outside. Yeah. The textures. Do you know what I enjoyed was the tomato soup, you know? The, the, the tomato ketchup. The tomato yeah, ketchup. Yeah. How yeah. clever. And then adding the lentils was yeah. so clever yeah. because, you know, you just get kids to eat lentils yeah. that way and it was just a really lovely, good lardis day. And speaking of traditional ingredients, the yeah. use of barley in the stew. Yum. But you can't beat yeah. a really good stew. Oh. Mm. I love that pasta. I love that burger. So what's it going to be? Put that tomato yeah. soup. Yeah. Yeah. Dee, it's the big award of the night. It's time for everybody to find out who has won the Dish of the Year. And the winner of the Easy Food Dish of the Year is Ruth Healy. I think we've had some very deserving winners tonight and Ruth taking away the top prize, I think that's well earned. We hope to see you all back here again next year for the 2014 Easy Food Home Cook Hero Awards. Good night!